Welcome back to some more Machinarium. In the last episode, we got the band back together. The angry upstairs neighbor threw her radio out, so I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. And if you guys are enjoying the series, I would greatly appreciate a like on this video. It definitely helps out. Now, we need some oil for the old man from the town square, so let's see if we can get her, get him some in here. Looks like I can't talk to the bar owner. He's probably pissed that I stole his drum. So we can't get oil from him. However, I do have another idea. So let me come out here. And if you remember, out here is the infamous oil in which Joseph tripped on in the first episode. So maybe we can get some oil from here. Let's try that. All right, we're slowly gonna fill this up one measly drop at a time. And apparently three drops is enough. So let's go give this to the old guy. I think he'll appreciate my efforts. Those guys are still going at it with their music. And let's continue our way up. Alright, sir. I come bearing oil. Nice. Lubing up his wheelchair here. Now oh, he's nice and good. Looks like he wants some sunflower oil next. Or whatever that kind of juice is. So let me take the canister back. And now that he's not standing on this little manhole here, let's go down there and see what is happening. Okay. We're in this strange little place. So let's see. Let me see who this guy is. Okay, so I need to use him to open up this tub here. He's, he's quite mad, though. Of course, none other than the Black Cat Brotherhood ruining everybody's day in this town. These guys are so ruthlessly mean. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that is sad. Okay. Just so happens that we have a radio from that mean upstairs neighbor. Let me hook it up to the megaphone here and then we'll plug it in. Excellent. And that guy is grooving right now. He is jamming. So let's use him to open up the water tank here. He's ready to go. He kind of looks like a T-Rex. If a T-Rex were a wrench. That's what it would look like. Nice. So we're filling up this little pool here. <laughs> nice. We are ruining their illegal gambling. These stupid fools. Black Cup. Black Cap Brotherhood. We're completely screwing them over. Nice. They're just floating away. That is very satisfying, not gonna lie. Okay, so let's see what's going on over here. There's this little thing I could pick up here. Maybe that'll be useful later. Okay. Not entirely sure what to do here, so let me come and explore this little drawer first of all. See if there's anything in here. Some sort of instruction manual. Shower going into the water here. Some counterweight pulleys. These are all fairly complicated. Lots of gears. Very complex drawings here. Ok. 
Okay. But we have one of these things right here, so maybe that'll be useful. So I think what I want to do is turn off the water going up here. That way I can actually jump in here from above, from the town center, and maybe continue through this pipe. That's the plan. So if you look very closely, you can see the water's coming in from over here because of the little arrow. And it's going out over here because of this little arrow. So we want to clog all communications to this pipe so we can kind of trace back and see where to place this stuff. Um, so the first little appendage is going to be here. And then it's going to be followed through. Hold on, it's going to be followed through down here into this one. So what we want to do is plug one here. Okay. Actually, I think there is... I thought there was another little wrench that I missed here. Okay, we do have two. Yeah, I picked it up automatically, apparently. Okay. So let's go back over here. And we kind of clogged up this one already. So that way when it's coming through here... It can't go through this pipe. Okay. So now, let's go this way and follow it through over here. Okay. So right here, this little appendage. It can either come from here or here. So we can plug up both of these and it should stop the water flow at least from this side to that. So let's try that and see if that works. And indeed it does, perfect. Okay, and everything is drained up. So let me climb up here. Nice, that guy's gonna be jamming all night, man. He's having the time of his life. I wonder if the wrenches in my garage are that happy. Okay, so I can jump down in here now. Perfect. And let's go on through this pipe. Alright, let's go down here. And let's see what's going on. Okay, he just yelled at that pipe. That's cool. Let me pull this. Okay, it doesn't seem to be working. Let's push the button. Gonna drop all the way down. Again, let me take a look in here. Okay, maybe it's hollow. There's no gas in the tank here to get the elevator to go up. So that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Let me come up here. Okay. Nothing too exciting. So let's see what's through this little window. Ah, oh, and it's Joseph's girlfriend. She's cooking. Black Cat Brotherhood at it again. Looks like they kidnapped her. They're forcing her to cook. That is so mean. Poor Joseph. Look at his little face. He's devastated. He's devastated. So it looks like I'm actually controlling the little female robot now. Which is nice. Let's grab some corn. So I think we can use this to siphon some oil out to power the elevator. So let's try to figure out a way to do that. Set that down right there. And let's cook this corn. See what happens. Okay, that looks like it's gonna shake that thing loose. There we go. Excellent. And let's give that over to her. And now I think if I were to stand on top of here, I can open up this thing at the top. It appears to be frozen solid though. 
Let me pull this little thing here. So if you use your imagination, you can see that maybe this is kind of like a hose, but it just happens to be frozen solid. So let's try to cook it. Be a good idea if I got off the pot first. Okay. Joseph, look at him. I can't get over how sad he looks looking in. Poor little guy. She's gonna slurp that thing up like spaghetti. Excellent. So let's go ahead and attach this to the oil dispenser. And that way we can siphon some to power the elevator. There we go. Perfect. All right. So let's power it up. So it's going, but now we do need to operate it and tell it to go up. So what we want to do here is we want to move the red ones to the top and the gray ones to the bottom. So hopefully I can get this quickly. I think I have it. Yeah, I think I got it. Finally. Okay. Do that, that. Boom. Boom. And there we go. Finally. Oh, no, no, no. I jumbled it up after I got it. I thought that was the way to make it go up oh that that is stupid all that work for nothing okay this time I'm not gonna screw it up I'm gonna press the right thing which is the lever there we go all right, how do I make it go up oh there we go Pulled it the wrong way. So we made it all the way up. Let's try to poke this thing. And it's alive. It's alive. And it likes quizzes. It likes quizzes. Got that wrong. He's getting kind of mad. He's getting kind of mad. So he's happy again. He's angry again. Happy. Okay. These are kind of tricky. They can be kind of confusing. Kind of guessing on some of these, not gonna lie. It's gonna look something like... This. Alright. Like that. Wrong. So the more you get wrong, the angrier he gets. And you can see that this puzzle is kind of counterintuitive. You don't want to get the right answers. You want to get the wrong answers. And the more wrong you get, the angrier he gets. The more things are falling and breaking and just going crazy. And then eventually, he just works up a storm and loses his mouth. That sucks. This guy really needs to go to some anger management classes. I would highly encourage that for him. But I'm not going to complain. Now I can sneak inside of here. And looks like we are in some sort of greenhouse. So let's open some drawers here. Okay, looks like some films. Let's open this one as well. And let's see what this little panel is going to be all about. 
Okay. So it looks like it's a puzzle. So I gotta make everything green. Shouldn't be an issue. But it looks like they might be getting harder along the way. But it's still not too bad. Okay. Let's try out this one. Um, let's see. Let me start over here. Go down. This way, that way. There we go. Not bad. And now it looks like you can press this little button. And that's going to power that thing up. And looks like this tree has sprung to life. So I have an idea. I have my little plant from earlier. From the angry neighbor that threw it at us for making loud music. Okay, let me put this back. And let me come in a little bit closer. And there we go. Actually, let me push this over here to this one. I want to get all these trees nice and beautiful. So let me slowly brighten each and every one of them to life. Okay. These little carnivorous plants are springing to life. Let me, before I push this, let me pick this up. Might be useful. Then let me come through here. Now let's grow our little plant here. Okay. And look at that, we got a sunflower. Perfect. We do still need the sunflower oil for the old man. So let me kind of shake this up, grab some seeds. And maybe I can put those to use. Let me liven up the last little plant here. That one looks like it doesn't do too much. So let me try to solve the other half of the puzzles here. Okay, so this one's a little bit more complex. Um, let me start over here. Yeah, let's do it like this. Okay, there we go. Then let me try this one. Okay, this one... Uh, looks a little tricky. If I go like that... Um, I think I see a possible solution. Let me start over here. Go here, here. There we go. Okay, nice, perfect. And then last one. Hmm. Can I just go like that? Right? Oh, never mind. Never mind. How do I reset? Okay. Yeah, I knew that was too simplistic. Um. Let's see, maybe down here, down through. Okay, I have an idea. Let's go up around this way. There we go. Excellent. And let's see what this button does. Turned on this little projector. It's still really small. We need to find a way to Enhance the image, I guess. Uh, can't really put these in here. I mean, I can, but I'm not going to be able to see the images. So let me come explore up here. Let's see what we can find. Is that a butterfly? It's flying away. Oh, little butterfly, come back. And let me, against all common sense, reach into a carnivorous plant that's about as big as me. Okay, so he doesn't like that at all. But let me use this little stick to kind of pry him open. 
There we go. And now I'll reach in there. And I have a magnifying glass. Perfect. So let me get down. And now I can put that on here. Excellent. And let's take a look at the slideshow. Wobble on over there, Joseph. Okay. It's kind of showing me some sunflower oil. Apparently I need some sort of machine to grind up some seeds, which I have. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's me inside of a plant. Or it could have been me. Okay. Looks like a lot of uh, scientific sort of work here. Let me come around back here. And let me take a look at this. And it's a sort of butterfly and I can push some stuff. Okay. So I do have another reel of film here. Let me trade it out with this one. Okay. I actually have to take this one out first. And then let me put this one in. Let's see if we can find any information here. Okay. Looks like a bunch of organisms. And there's a butterfly that should look familiar. That's the puzzle over here. So let me leave this up. And then let's go solve this. And I'm just going to copy exactly what is on the slide right there. Excellent. And that's going to open the way forward. Let's get out of here. No, oh, look at that garden. His little puppy. He looks pretty happy. He should keep his dog away from Joseph. Because Joseph has a record of animal cruelty in this playthrough. You may remember... Me shooting a dog and electrocuting a cat. Not good. So this looks like some sort of apparatus similar to the one needed to crush the sunflower seeds. So let me put the little pot over here. And then I'm going to put my seeds in. Okay, let's grind it up. All right, come on, little Robo. Use all your strength. I think that was all the oil I need. Let's see. There we go. Looks pretty full. Let's go talk to this guy, see what's going on with him. He's guarding something important. There's a door behind him. Looks like he needs some batteries. He's out of batteries. This poor guy's so sad. But if you remember, there was a battery vending machine near town center. So let me go take a look over there. See what I can find. Slide down this pipe. Excellent. Back to my favorite screen of the game. Oh, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. I was supposed to go up. I'm a fool. Those guys are still jamming. Alright, let's go up, not down. I don't know what I was thinking. So there's that vending machine for batteries. Unfortunately, I still don't have money. But let me give this guy some oil that he requested. And maybe he'll pay me. We'll see. I need to get closer to him. Hmm. Let me get in front of him. There we go. 
So he's giving me a bandage. He's lubing up his joints. Nice. And turns out Joseph is Jesus. He can make the crippled walk. Excellent. Except this guy didn't walk for very long. And what I got instead was an arcade ticket. So that should be pretty fun. Let's go up there. If you remember, the arcade is just through here. You know, there's a giant bomb attached to the tower at the center of town. So what better way to use my time than to go play video games at the arcade. Instead of trying to save the world here. I think that's a good idea. So that's what we're gonna do. And put my ticket in. Excellent. So in the next episode, we're gonna go in the arcade and see what we can do in there. And we already got this little memory from Joseph, but I'll catch you guys next time. Be sure to leave a like on the video, and thanks again for watching.